Point and Shoot Programming with SAS Part 3. If I want to do a frequency of, say, uh, have um, by, by visit um, report SN, for instance, I could say FRQH VISIT star repeat SN. And what happened is it puts the frequency out here in, uh, with some other information. So I can paste this into the comment block. I wouldn't normally put this much stuff in a comment block, but I wanted to show you what's possible. Let's make 33 more lines and let's put this in here. Let's capitalize frequency. I thought I fixed that, but okay. So we have visit by repeat SN. Um, we have notice we have no repeats in baseline, which means baseline is one probably one to one with U subject ID. Our duplicates come in in visit one and visit two. Now, another thing we might want to do is take the average of all the numeric variables in have. So if we highlight have and we, and we type AVGH, then I've just produced over here all of the, all of the um, means statistics coming from the proc means. Now I can paste that in here. Whoops, I guess I didn't. I guess I didn't put that in the paste buffer, so we'll have to copy it. So I haven't got them all put into the to the paste buffer. What happened to that? Uh, this is really a pain. Let's just copy this all. Let's go over here. Do this. Control C, and stick that over here. This tends to be too long, so what I like to do is maybe uh, some of these are really not necessary. Sometimes I'll take some out because it, it makes the comment block too long. See, I, yeah, I have space for all of those. I probably might even have been, oops. So we have an issue here again where it does this once in a while. I, I didn't use Alt, I guess, when I copied it from the log. So we can take this out and we can put it here and we can delete these. So here we have um, the average, you know, the average weight, 123 pounds, pretty light. The average diastolic and systolic, and I made up this data, so some of it is probably not too accurate. So here are our mean statistics. One of the next things, um, you might wanna do average by visit. So if you, if you highlight the have data set, and type AVGBY. And put visit in. Then you'll get the averages by visit. Which I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to paste it into the comment block. But you can see um, that there are two missing cholesterols for a total of 28 non-missing, and you get all those statistics um, for all three. So let's close. Um, no, let's let's do one more thing. Let's print the observations that um, that have repeat SN equal to two. Uh, also, I somehow I got rid of a slash star, star slash here. Um, PRTWH, um, if I highlight have, and see, you don't have to highlight if it's the last data set and you leave off the H. PRTWH, REPEATSN equals two. Okay, we just printed those few observations. So we might want to put this into, I don't know, did I put that in the paste buffer? No, I'm pretty sure I didn't put that in the paste buffer. It's quite easy for me to alter my command macros and, 
and put it in the paste buffer. This should work. Let's see if it's going to put it in here. Sometimes it picks up a carriage. Oh, it didn't. Okay, so we put that in there. Now let's close the comment block. Now the reason I have these star slashes before the slash star is because when you paste stuff in, depending on how you do it, you're going to mess up the end of the comment block. So what I do is I highlight this. Just highlight this, do a control X and go over here on the end and put it in here. So now we've closed the comment. We have a nice comment block. Now some of the other nice things that you might want to do, well, let's end part three.